Okay, welcome to the first episode of Unsinkable Theory, where we talk about movies, movie moments, and uh, at the end we'll decide what's unsinkable and what's sinkable. My name's Jordan. Tyler. Billy. Dave. So today we're going to talk about movie car scenes. Car chase scenes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chase is specific. Billy, I see you got notes. I do have notes. Go for it. Okay, uh, so... Tell me your notes. My favorite car chase scene is from The Matrix Reloaded, and it is the highway scene. And uh, the, one of the reasons that I personally like it is uh, it leaves a little bit of mystery, because uh, when uh, Morpheus is talking to... Damn, I already forgot his name. The operator? I'm st still on the ship. No, no, no. The guy who's like... Does the clicky clacky keys? Yeah, because it's not it's not uh, a tank? tank. It's not it's not tank. Because tank. tank died in the oh, first no. one. He lived. He saved him. Yeah, tank. tank, tank. Oh, who's his brother? Dozer. Dozer. Dozer, yeah, Dozer, Dozer died. <laughs> Dozer, died. <laughs> Dozer died. Tank lived. Tank's not in this one. I do not remember his name. But he's like in my 14 years of operating. Uh, you know, I've never seen anything like this. You don't go on the freeway. And he's like, "What's the one thing I told Did you?" Did you ever to explain do? why not? Just because there's so many. Well, no. So that's kind of like the it's mystery. Real easy to get killed. Apparently. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. that's kind of like what I had. But like, because there's they so all many lived, people. But, but they lived. Well, well, yeah, but so one of the things because they need a third <laughs> is that when you're on the freeway, it's constricted. Anyone, any blue pill can get taken over by an agent, and uh, you know they can rewrite it so they just put a wall there. So you just smash into the wall. There's so many things that can get done to you when you're on. Damn, I need to watch the Matrix. Uh, watch all three of them at once. We'll find out. Yeah. You know, you're essentially yeah. when you're when you're in when you're on the freeway, you're essentially in a tunnel. Yeah. Right. No Any, top. Anyone, everyone's in a tunnel. Yeah, but only Neo yeah. knows how to fly. It's already you. But so speaking of the tunnel, the freeway. The freeway was built on an air force base in California. Most of the movie was actually shot in Australia to be cheaper. Uh -huh. So they built a one and a half mile freeway. On America. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they built a one and a half mile fr freeway on this naval base on the runway. And, uh, you know, it, it looks like it's made out of concrete, but it's all made out of wood and plaster. Uh, <laughs> almost all of the special, special effects in the movie are practical effects. Uh -huh. uh, very little CGI done, except, except I think the part when Neil flies in to uh, grab Morpheus. They didn't have him on wires, like fucking Wizard of Oz? No, Mons. I don't think they had him on wires. I think he's, that's the CGI, because you can see, kind of oh, see yeah. the cars buckle. The semis buckle when they crash into each other. Yeah. So them jumping when he jumps on the cars. The yeah, them jumping so on yeah. the screens. Yeah. yeah. Them jumping on the cars, and the cars, like, spinning out and stuff like that. That's all practical. Yeah, so you remember when Agent J Johnson jumps out of the police car and jumps onto that mm -hmm. that Bonneville and crashes it? That that's actually name? happened. Agent it is Agent Johnson, yes. Agent Johnson, <laughs> So how I'm they, so unprepared how, for this. Do you, you know how they that did? Car from just his way to yeah. Walk? Do you know how they actually did the smash and the practical effects side? Of him that was jumping CGI. off of it? Yeah. That Whoa. was CGI. That was CGI. No, this, when he crushed the hood? No, yeah, that happened. That actually happened. I don't think him jumping out. Would they get it. the cast of fucking my six hundred pound life to like double in? <laughs> well, no. So they, the hood. <laughs> I'm sure they have something that makes the, cr the car crumble. Yeah. You gotta remember. Like in the scene, Sugar the cars are really <laughs> only, the car they like, look like <laughs> they look like the cars are going fast. But in, when they're filming it, it's only going about ten miles an hour. The cars aren't actually driving. Oh, okay, okay. Do they have them like hooked up so something's pulling the car. Generally, no. The cars are actually, there are stunt drivers in all the cars. Oh. There's a whole breed of stunt drivers that hired to do this that are currently just like cowboys. You know? I saw an interview Sweet with uh, with Keanu Reeves <laughs> talking about him. He says they're having a, a, a crew meeting Get dinner, out of my face, and there's just all these big cowboys in the back of the room. He's like, who are those guys? Like, Those are the drivers. <laughs> and he said, no, cowboys on, big buckles. He said, they look like they're straight out of the 50s. Yeah, so my main point, that I think, is like what makes a good car chase. And I think... The biggest factor to me is the practicality. So, like it being real stunt drivers, real cars flipping, real, real cars exploding, dying. real people dying. Yeah. But um, no, and you know, you you tend to think maybe like some of these movies are not doing practical effects, but even like Fast and Furious, a lot of it was practical effects, like real cars doing those jumps, except maybe like. In, what is it? Fast Seven, where they 
skyscraper, skyscraper jumps. Skyscraper. Like, no, that sucks. Probably uh, CGI. Hyper car that's plexiglass. Like, but for um, some reason, can be protective. Because wasn't it going through like reinforced like steel beams? Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's I mean, CGI. that car wasn't made of jet fuel. But I mean, um, Yikes. what is it? <laughs> the one with Jason Statham, like Oof. Fast Six or. <laughs> The Which Fast and the Furious or something like that. He was like fast. That. He's in a few. A no, lot of fast them. Fast Six. Like the first one. He was fast. Let's be honest. But we all lost track of, the, track of those movies. Yeah. It's all <laughs> just. I haven't watched it since. I think I watched BS, Fast 7 but, like last year. Um, You know, a lot and of it made, was. Like, nine more so, a, lot of, a lot of the car stuff was practical. I'm not sure. Got, like a new one coming out. And it's just like someone's name and someone's name. Oh. Yeah. Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. It's just like a buddy. Like, I hate it's like you, buddy rock, right? and you it's hate me, but at the end, we're going to be buddies, and we're going to do a whole nother franchise. You're a little English white guy, a big half Samoan, yeah. not <laughs> white How guy. How rich is the dude in charge of this franchise? Like, let's be honest. Does he need to make more? What is it? Universal or, she, or something I don't like know. that? Universal. It's Universal. Yeah. Universal has That's the only money. thing Universal has going for them after their movie monster uh, debacle. Now they're doing The Invisible Man. <laughs> they're, they're, they're continuing. <laughs> You're yeah, going to see these But hits. they're doing what everyone said. They said, hey... Do a low budget new director, let them do whatever they want with it to the movie monster. And they're like, no, 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 no. we're going to do big budget, big stars, movie monster universe. And then that fell apart. So now they're like, okay, here's a little bit of money. Go make a good Invisible Man movie. Um, All right. Who'd, who'd have thunk that? I'm going to bring know, Tom this back in into car chases and I'm going to throw my runner out there, which oh, is no. gone in 60 seconds. Okay. okay. I like the longevity of the car chase, the fact that there's some comedic relief in there. Cops getting sent through walls, hit by buses. He's Wait, point, what? There's a point where he's driving. <laughs> he's the I don't remember point where this. He's shit. driving backwards and he <laughs> smiles at a kid in a car next to him. It's just classic Nicolas Cage. I mean, before he just said yes to everything, you know, post National Treasure. But he made a lot of bad financial decisions. <laughs> um, <laughs> did he? You know, if he actually was doing any of those uh, I didn't do driving a bunch of research no. about it, mm-hmm. but yeah. I've seen the behind the scenes. I know they do some practical stuff in it a lot. Well, like the clips um, we were watching earlier. The part that the you can they do actually tell. send that uh, cop car through the wall that gets hit by like a air tank thing that the end gets exploded, so it like turns into a rocket and then it <laughs> barrels into a cop car, and right. sends them through a brick wall. They really did send a car through a brick wall, so nice. that part's pretty cool. I think the part that they faked is they uh, he jumps a bunch of traffic on a bridge. Um, well, they had to heavily modify that ramp vehicle that he jumped. He couldn't actually jump one of those. <laughs> and then uh, they did, I think they send the car off it, but into like a foam pit or something. They don't well, actually, and then they CGI the rest of that jump. Yeah. Right? In the landing. They didn't land that car, I think, for that one. But good car chase. Yeah. yeah. So for mine, I think, I think you'll like this one Bad Boys 2. Because <laughs> I was asking Billy, I was like, "Fuck, I haven't like looked up any car chases." He's like, "Well, there was a lot of good ones from 2003." He Is said, that, "Bad you, Boys 2 and I was like, the "That's one? it." Through the no, but oh. that might be a good one. No, I was thinking of the one where they steal Dan Marino's car and they drive it through. Or <laughs> he's doing the test drive. Dan Marino's <laughs> doing the test drive. <laughs> they steal his car and they're chasing. Were they just chasing? They were just chasing some lackeys, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. so. And. They're like, go, oh, because they're chasing the the ambulance or the hearse that's full the of hearse that's the, the bodies, bodies with all the drugs in them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're running over the bodies. <laughs> that's a good one. And then, I don't, I, I don't remember if it's the same scene, but they're on, like, <clears throat> they're on the, uh, the highway that goes across the water, like the bay or whatever. Okay. And there's, like, and in one part, this dude, like, they somehow drop a boat. Do you remember that part? Oh, oh yeah, I remember the yeah, yeah the boat the trailer is a boat on the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and the boat falls off. And they get yelled at it by the, and then the, his by boss, the chief. Joe Pantoliano was like, A fucking boat! <laughs> a boat <laughs> He's like, How did you wreck a boat in a car chase? <laughs> and then Martin Lawrence shoots his dash and later on. <laughs> and later on the, to shoot outside the car. <laughs> and later on That's the good. movie, uh, Will Smith's like He's on the phone with the uh, repairman. He's like, $30,000 to fix a, fix a fucking dash? 
But no, the one at the end is going to do with the Hummer. They're just like crashing through yeah. the end. They like, completely <laughs> demolish some poor people's love, village. Oh, I love how all in the name of like justice, like, <laughs> sorry, we had to chase so, down the guy. So they take a big know, yellow Hummer and yellow Hummer as a tank. You know, chase <laughs> Johnny Tapia down the fucking Cuban yeah. favela, crashing, crashing their, through their supposed <laughs> drug labs. I feel like that's like how they justify. Like, no, they're just drug labs. There's just people live there. <laughs> Why is there clothes hanging everywhere? <laughs> people live here. Oh drug labs God. do have staff. Do they though? I do. <laughs> they slave. Those people don't deserve a roof over their head. <laughs> I don't just want to watch Bad Boys too now. I don't know. All right, that's the end of the episode. Time to watch Bad Boys too. <laughs> No, you were, uh, you were saying something earlier, Tyler, and I totally forgot I was going to ask What's you about that? it. What was... Like, what do you have in your notes there? Oh, well, so, really, I was just talking... A lot of this is about um, practical effects and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, um... But another big thing is, like, camera angles as well in these chases, where they put, like... They put, like, a camera on the fender. They have, like, 360 cameras all around these cars. Yeah. You know? They have, like, these, and then, these so, you know, rigs. Like, you got one on the, the, got them on the fenders and stuff, so you can get shots of the wheels turning. And then you get shots of, like, the rear view camera and everything. It's just, like, you can see everything, and that's great. You know, and you can add different levels of intensity and put mm-hmm. you into that feeling like you're actually in the car. You're actually right there with that person. And that's what... Um, gets it with me because I was watching um, Drive 2011 oh, Drive with Ryan Gosling yeah. so you, you know got, got a lot of flack oh, got a lot of God. flack because you know really people enjoy that movie. people called it boring and stuff right. there wasn't was, a ton was, of action kind of you know boring. but boring. you watch this first the opening scene thing. and you know you can just see the intensity in his driving they yeah. do those shots, like the undercarriage of the car showing the wheels turning, and it's just simple things like that, mixed with like some intense music. And you're like, this is like this is good filmmaking. This is a good little car chase scene. Yeah. And he doesn't even do anything that fancy, like flipping the car around or anything. I like love that. the part at the beginning where it's like, here's this Chevy Malibu. It's got like 800 horses in it. <laughs> Go do some illegal shit. <laughs> <laughs> It totally just looks like a normal Chevy. Yeah, it looks like yeah, Chevy. Really like, cool. like if yeah. you even go inside, look at the radio. It's just like a normalized yeah, radio. Yeah, like simple dash. And all that. Right, but you know, in that six minutes of that opening scene, I felt way more tense and into it than I did watching, you know, half the Fast and Furious cars. You know, scenes. a movie where I felt like I was in that seat, The Phantom Menace. <laughs> Remember the pottery scene? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Listen. That is well filmed. This dude saying. is well, in the CGI. shit. He loses his cord on the left side. He's spinning around. It's like... Doo, 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 you know, it's like powering down. I'm like, dude, this is me. Yeah. Oh, Pretty man. The dread. When you the bring dread out of Ryan Gosling, it made me think of A Place Beyond the Pines. There's some really good car chase in that. Kind of motorcycle chase, actually, I guess. But Still, still haven't seen that. Still counts. Um, but I don't know how much of that was actually Ryan Gosling or like a different stunt driver. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah. I would assume it's probably just a stunt driver. I've probably. never heard of him doing, but <clears throat> I've never heard of him doing like any. And then, big stunts like that. um, I was yeah, looking and I was looking at a baby driver. Yeah, so, um, in that red Subaru, especially they, I saw these pictures of behind the scene pictures of the stunt driver. And like driving stunt coordinator, like Jeremy Fry, I think his name is. He's actually sitting in a cage on top of the car, and it has all the controls for the car. So he's actually driving the car while all the actors are inside the car. He's the dude from what's That's that show really you watch? Cool. Jeremy Fry. Sure. It's a British show. Oh, Top Gear. Top Gear. Top Gear. Gear. Yes, thank you. Isn't so, that him? I, maybe I don't know. I don't, Isn't that the guy? I don't know. I don't Mr. Know. Didn't look like him, but um. No, I don't know. So he's actually driving the car, doing all these 360s and 180s and stuff in the car while the guy's in the car trying to mimic those motions because, you know, they sat down with the main actor, uh, Ansel Elgort, and he actually tried to teach him how to do that sort of stuff, and John Hamm as well, because there's a scene at the end of the movie where John Hamm's, like, whipping around a parking garage in a police charger, Mm -hmm. like, chasing after baby. 
Oh, well, I was thinking it was Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought it was him. <laughs> he falls off. Yeah. Oh my God. But, you know, it's really great seeing all that stuff because, you know, they actually put the time and the effort into making yeah. it as real as possible and as authentic as possible. And they talked about doing the, um, what what do you call it? The... Um, Uh, shooting the rehearsal this is what Jeremy Fry called it mm-hmm. so instead of like trying to set it up and do like as many takes to piece it together it was like we're about to go practice doing this just film it and we'll get it done and he said a lot of this stuff they did in just one take because they were, had limited time yeah. closing off streets in Atlanta and stuff like that so that's I think that like attests to how good of like a car movie that really was yeah. because that, that they right? were doing yeah Edgar Wright I really like about that too is how they Who, what so other movies perfectly does he do? timed the whole movie. He didn't do Ant Man. Oh, he got. Oh, like, was he no, going yeah. to do Ant Man? Creative yeah. differences. Yeah, yeah, he was going to do Ant Man. Because he wanted a bunch of chases. He wanted to make an Edgar Wright movie, and just Marvel wanted him to make a Marvel movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the thing with Baby Driver is not just in the car chases, but like throughout the whole movie, they perfectly time it to all the movie. Uh, music and it, the scoring and that's like top notch. Dang, I need to see it. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't really so, speak on it. I really like the point where they're like talking too much in the car before they go in. He's got to restart the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Jimmy Fox is yelling at him to go, and he's like, I got the song first. Right. And then there's another scene where he's like stealing a car from an old lady yeah, when he's like, trying to escape, and he's like her, tuning the radio, hers. like trying to find yeah. the right song yeah. to play before she's he's like drive. sitting outside the car, like, What the heck's going on? Yeah. Why did this guy get in my car? <laughs> 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 then he hands her her purse and like takes yeah. off. So I thought that was really good. Um, let's see. One, I got some notes about Mad Max. We could talk about that because I'm sure that's probably on everybody's list. That's just a big, like car enthusiast uh, kind of car movie because of like the fact that they made all of those cars for it yeah I love the dude destroyed I just love the it's like almost all real I love the dude who's just sitting on top playing guitar that was an actual guy on there yeah yeah that's pretty Um, sick I like that vehicle a lot (laughs) (laughs) shoot all the flames (laughs) those were all real flames and everything there's a there's like a 300 pound guitar that's why that movie won so many awards like well it looks good it won all like a bunch of effects awards because this, the only CGI they really used was to create those landscapes, I like the mountains and, the storm. and stuff. Remember that big storm where okay, they, where yeah, they the, big the very yeah. last explosion too, when the war rig smashes through uh, that small little uh, arch and it breaks it, mm-hmm. so, it, so the boar party can't follow them back to the oasis. Yeah, that was that was CGI. Too. Oh, you're talking about the little canyon? Yeah, yeah, that right. last okay. that last drive through. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. This is a good but movie those in dudes general. on those poles, like leaning back and forth, trying to get to the cars. Those were real dudes up on poles yeah. and everything. Like actually, a lot of coordinating, putting the life stuff. on the line, and it looked like they were going faster than like the ten miles per hour. Matrix Reloaded. No, oh, yeah, did they, you guys did you guys watch that in theaters or no? I did in road, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw it in theaters. So I didn't. I watched it right after I got my new TV. I was like, holy shit, this looks fucking awesome. Four K. Yeah. Yeah. It was nuts. Oh. I, if I, saw, I think I run in that one. Uh, more practical effects so you remember when Trinity and the Keymaker on the Ducati mm-hmm. that is actually Trinity driving of the Ducati but uh Dude, Carrie and Moss is a badass and uh so but the thing is she wasn't actually only going 10 miles an hour in that so all the sidecars are only going 10 miles an hour or like when there's action going on so they're, they're using, actually going the real speed so they're the basically are, well they're using depth yeah in, like the way things look so if you got a, a bunch of cars doing 10 and she's only doing 40, it makes her look like she's doing 120 right. on a right. highway where people are doing 70. So, but the part where she's dipping in and out of traffic, she's actually doing that at fast speeds mm. with someone on the back of it. And so they started her on a bigger bike and they slowly moved her down to a to the Ducati. Yeah. And then just uh, <clears throat> the interview I saw with Keanu Reeves, he just said that was probably the most impressive part of that whole movie is that he's like he wanted a, he. I mean, granted, we've seen at the John Wick movies now. This interview was two thousand three. Yeah. But he's like, he's like, I wouldn't want to drive out of Ducati without a helmet on with someone behind me. Oh, he's a, like on an actual <laughs> road, right? Killing everybody. He's actually <laughs> John Wick Part Nine. Weapon specialist yeah. training yeah. and all sorts of stuff. I never saw the John Wick. And then Ooh, uh, the first. another unique Ooh. part: Cadillac. <laughs> got, Cadillac gave them all the cars for that movie. That's what I was. I forgot to mention Not too. Cadillac. GM gave them all the yeah, cars. Yeah, I forgot to mention in Bad Boys, it's like a clear product placement he's like Dan Marino should definitely buy this car <laughs> right. like, 
<laughs> when you're a little kid watching that, you don't think about that. that and kind then of stuff. Uh, the Cadillacs that they had used though actually weren't fully in production, so they had to then make them the Cadillacs. The, 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 that Cadillac truck, super, right? Yeah, yeah like the, the, the Cadillac truck, and then that too, and the what? Bad Boys too. They superimpose on the Hummer grill. I think a bunch of this busting through. <laughs> well, it's stuff. Michael Bay. No. Right. What's that, Michael Bay? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Why do you think they like during the explosions? There's so many lenses. You didn't know Michael Bay did these movies. <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, well, is I don't know. Is slow motion standing up and looking at the camera that didn't give it away? Slow <laughs> motion, which is throwing the gun onto the mine yeah. in Guantanamo, at Guantanamo Bay. That's how you shoot. Lens flares as the U.S. Coast Guard shooting at them yeah. on the beach. Yeah. Will Smith, the camera in the sand, and Will Smith's like. And then Sun when they're on that little Sun outpost yeah. waiting to catch the drugs being I was like oh, I, I, I see it, it. I see it. Uh, yeah, the Michael Bay the, the sun setting is the lens flare well yeah. <laughs> I did like The Rock though that was also a Michael Bay movie The Rock yeah did you know that? huh no The Rock <laughs> like Alcatraz yeah, Michael Bay just invented The Rock he just made The Rock <laughs> he found him you know Going at school said, in you're Miami my boy and now. said, hey, you want to join the WWE and then eventually have a bunch, uh, burgeoning thumb cream? <laughs> He's turned into the new Nicolas Cage, just taking oh, any dude, fucking role, it seems like. just takes every, like... Skyscraper? Oh, I'm so tired of him. Like... I mean, I Jumanji did well, to my surprise. Jumanji had no competition for the four I months zero, of the I had zero interest in seeing that. No. I, just, exactly. I don't want to watch, funny. like, any more movies he's in, because, like, yeah, he's... Turning into Nicolas Cage now. He's just doing whatever. He think he thinks that his star power can transcend a bad movie. Just like Nicolas Cage thought he could do. But the Chinese market doesn't love him though. Um, Dude, the Chinese market loves everything we do. My last That's edition. They, they don't like Star Wars. Oh, I, actually, I well, got two. They straight up said the characters are ugly in Star Wars. And they pulled the movie Force Awakens after like two weeks being in China. Good. They should have pulled, they should never even play it. Those no, movies it are trash. Car chases, Star Wars. Oh, that's where you're wrong, it's my friend. The, the <laughs> Phantom Menace. The big Attack of the Clones. Those Dude. aren't cars. Dude. Oh, okay. A New Hope. No, the no, four no. wheels in an engine, Tyler. <laughs> a New Hope begins with a car chase. Hot Solo Think begins about with it. a car chase. Not a car. It pans down. You see the Tanta, and then you see the Star Destroyer. You know, the Last Jedi car is chase. a whole car chase. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars doesn't have car chases. <laughs> <laughs> Change right. my view. Okay. <laughs> Obi Wan recklessly diving out onto the drone, while can I, Anakin can steals I, can the speeder. Can I speeder. talk about this? Real quick? I will give you those are flying cars. I will. I will so, okay. secede that, but it's still so. Not I a mentioned this. Car I mentioned this over beers at Main Street, like a month ago. I was like, so I was watching uh, Attack of the Clones. Mm-hmm. Remember the scene where they try to assassinate Padme with the little slug worm things? Right. And then Anakin jumps in and kills them. And then Obi Wan's just like, window. <laughs> just jumps, <laughs> jumps through the window. He jumps out a fucking plate glass window, <laughs> like 30 stories up, minimum. Right? Minimum. It's Coruscant. Minimum. It's Coruscant. It's, they're high. <laughs> yeah. The buildings are tall. I don't even know 30 stories could equate to how high they're up. 300 stories. <laughs> He's yeah. hella high. He's a high boy. <laughs> Nine miles above the jumps. He has That's why he knows he has time. <laughs> he jumps head first out the window, grabs onto the droid, and then when Anakin jumps out of the speeder, he's like, I hate it when he does that. What? Yeah. You're just Hypocritical the same thing. much? <laughs> you jumped out of a fucking play class window. Right. Right. <laughs> you made it worse. There was a small hole. <laughs> you made a really bad hole. That was a great chase, though. Like, but do we know that he went through that hole, or did he do a make a new hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a Jedi, not a contortionist. Oh. I think he made a new hole. <laughs> no, like, did he enlarge the hole that was already... Because that hole yeah, was only like that big. Yeah, bigger yeah. on the way out. Didn't you catch it? Well, it was structural weekend. That course empty glass isn't that strong. You get a hole in it. It's not like taboo glass. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> but okay. Oh, my God. Car chase scene in The Dark Knight. They're transporting Harvey Dent to the jail as he mm-hmm. came after he came out as the Batman oh when he's in the armored car yep okay yeah uh, Commissioner like, Gordon faces Commissioner time. Gordon faces death spoilers <laughs> <laughs> this movie's 10 years whoa old. whoa wait, easy <laughs> um, in case you're just coming out of a coma don't watch don't, this don't. <laughs> I think there's only two or three CGI scenes or little tidbits in that but it's so, I feel like it's so iconic to Pop culture and then what um, about like the, the trilogy effects? itself? Were all the weapon effects practical? Like 
The explosions? Yeah. Yeah. Were they okay? Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, they shot an actual RPG. <laughs> no, That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think they actually shot an RPG, <laughs> but you could. Like, they had uh, explosives and stuff where they're just like, you know, okay. create explosions. Like obviously. charges that just make fire? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the few scenes that were CGI, Batman's coming in the tumbler down the highway towards the... Uh, the trash truck that's behind the SWAT vehicle so it can't go backwards mm. and smashes it up into the top of the tunnel. Dude, that, that part was cool. Um, there was a scene where... Yeah, where Batman has to turn his vehicle from a vehicle into a motorcycle. The Bat Pod. That's it's cool. the, yeah, it's so the introduction cool. of the Bat Pod into the series as well. Right. And then you have this... At the end, you have the scene where the Joker's standing there in the middle of the street Shoot shooting down. the MP40 and he owns like, Hit me! <laughs> You know, that's ah, iconic, that's iconic stuff. Lay it on me. Right. And, you it's know, good. You see, it it chills. It does. It puts you right in there, and then the Hans Zimmer score behind it. Yo, real quick, Rip Heath Top Ledger, notch. Top, Rip top, Heath Ledger. Top tier Heath Ledger. Top tier. He died on my birthday. Especially with all this Oscar Yikes. buzz around Black Panther or whatever, we know what movie really should have won. I don't even remember watching Black Panther. I it came out last year. I watched it as surprised. part of. Uh, my this is the part of the video where, where we're ago. not talking about movie chasing car chase anymore. <laughs> oh, I had I one, I have one more car chasing. All the movies that I needed we're to prepare myself for Infinity War and Black Panther was by far the biggest snooze fest. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Like, because he's the most boring character in, was in the sort whole of, MCU. It, all it did was sort of further other things that they had been doing to build up to Infinity War. It didn't have any sort of plot of its own. Yeah. I mean, like, well, it did. It was just really weak. Oh, but you like uh, Eric Killmonger? Oh. People are saying Billy, he's one of the best. Did you have something you wanted to say? I mean, I like really. I thought Black oh. Panther was in, oh, okay, was a yeah. good Marvel, okay. movie. not the greatest. I think for a Marvel movie, it was good. I think for a regular movie, fucking boring. But so best boring. Marvel car chase scene, not Black Panther. Mm -hmm. It's Age of Ultron. That movie, I'm sure we all forgot about. <laughs> I like, no, I, no, oh, you're right because I don't remember that movie. They're in all. Korea. They're chasing the semi. And they're chasing the semi. The I don't eye. remember yeah. that movie at all. And all is like, you know what? We're not doing a car chase scene anymore. I'm just gonna fly away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain America versus remember? a super robot. Yeah, he like his Ultron Was bots he, like, get punching? outside. Why? Why would you punch a robot made of vibranium? He's Why would that because, America? He because, tried to punch Thanos. Because freedom. <laughs> because freedom. No, he was trying to keep Thanos' finger hand from closing. He had his but, left. But does left he tried to punch that? him a few times? But does he yeah, know about that? I feel like Baby Driver makes a lot of lists for this car chase. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure it does. It's pretty great. Right. Wow. Copyright strength. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> finally, demonetized. Last, demonetized. Last meme on the car chase list after Attack of the Clones. Pineapple Express. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I was wondering if you were going to talk about it. I didn't want to, like, take it, it from looks, you. All right. Because, you know, I was just approaching all of this from practicality standpoint. I'm going to be totally and honest. I looks, did no research. It looks. Before this it, I didn't research whether or not they actually did it, but it looks mostly like a stud driver just yeah. goofing off. Their budget no. wasn't that high. It was, like, no. 20, 30 million. No, I mean, yeah, it's obvious you can tell that it's not him. Like, they didn't yeah. try that hard to hide that it's a stunt driver. Oh, yeah. that's Part of what makes it that's good, though, because you, charm, you yeah. know that like they're actually doing those stunts. Yeah. And then the, the comedy in there, like the, oh, I pulled my fucking groin. <laughs> and then the, I feel like oh, a wishbone. I, I, I can see through my leg hole. <laughs> I love the part with the cop. <laughs> she shoots. The, she's trying to. She's trying uh, to shoot. Uh, was it Dale or Saul? No. So he does the thing. He tries to do the classic car chase movie trope where. I slam on my brakes and they drive past, yeah. but they both stop at the same time. <laughs> she starts shooting at them. She shoots a bystander. She's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and drives away. Oh, it's great. It's so funny. And it's, you know, they're not doing anything crazy. You know, it's just oh, good little yeah. car chase. When the slushy and, uh, spills on, he's like, oh, God. Oh, it's blood everywhere. And he's like <laughs> and trying to use the wipers. He's like, it's not coming off. Perfect. Even perfect little car chase. Like, one that I really enjoyed, movie. but it didn't yeah. fit into chases, was that they... Uh, speed, because it's not really a chase. It's kind of the whole movie. Speed. But when she has to jump the oh, bus, with the bu oh, yeah, there's a bomb on a bus. And the fact that they <laughs> that they actually jump that bus like is pretty cool. Coincidence? They uh, jumped the bus. For, for, no, yeah, they actually practical. jumped that bus. They that's, really that's did launch sick. a bus. <laughs> they jumped a bus and landed it. Yeah, 
impressive. Do you? I love I love at the end where they're just like, you know what? We're just gonna meme on ourselves. Let's jump this train. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna jump the track. Why would you jump the track? Um, who? Keanu. He um, ju- He's remember at the very end they're in the subway, and he's like, the track ends. We're gonna jump it. <laughs> like, <right>. What? <laughs> Uh, what my, the my, fuck? my first thought would be run to the back of the tree yeah. and jump off, but Keanu was like, floor it. Well, she was still handcuffed. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Never mind. You should have just left that. Yeah. It, because, doesn't, it doesn't work out. We've yeah, all seen Speed 2. Have <laughs> you seen Speed 2? I don't remember. Speed it's two. on a cruise. I remember Speed 1. The cruise I won't stop. Yeah, I don't even remember seeing Speed 1, to be honest. I remember Speed 2 very well. Because it was garbage. Willem Dafoe was in it. He was the bad guy, he and he had like make it good. Willem Willem Dafoe, turn it around. I mean, he, like, he only is a good like, bad he, guy. He was like dying sort of himself. <laughs> in Spider Man. So if I remember right, Willem Dafoe was like he was dying from the, some disease, and then he wanted money from the cruise. He's in I got. I don't remember that fucking movie. <laughs> Did they jump a boat? Did they jump a boat? <laughs> Did they jump a boat? As long as we're I don't remember. About practical. They jump a boat. Italian, I think they jumped uh, that boat. They jump a boat in Indiana Jones. Both yeah. movies, the original and the new one. Which one? Great practical car chases, the Italian job. I don't think I saw that. There's a new one? It's one with the Mini Coopers. Yeah, it's uh, Mark Wahlberg. It's not new, new. It's like Everybody's in early 2000s. Oh, you're talking about like the 70s and then the remake. Right. Okay. I don't, so they're both never, great practical stunt car chases. I don't remember that movie at all either. They do a lot of driving Mini Coopers in tight areas that they actually drove Mini Coopers. I remember, like, I think it was from, like, a trailer or something. They, like, drove a Mini Cooper out of, like, a pipe that was that, right. like, had that much clearance on all sides. That's the only part I remember. And then, yeah, Mark Wahlberg. And was uh, Charlize Theron in that? Most deaf. And, uh... She's his name? Souls cartridge. The redhead dude. The redhead dude? Yeah. He's in uh, Carrot Top. <laughs> I think he's in the American Pie movies. Seth Green. Oh yeah, yeah Seth Green. Seth Green. That's what it is. Seth Green's in the American and, Pie. Uh, yeah. The first one? Wait, was no, he? Oh, it's a that's Wait. The, that's the Shermanator. Oh. oh. I don't know why I thought of Seth Green. What is he in? He's in some like teenage. Seth Green's in like he's in. Teenage. Wasn't he in like coming. Buffy the Vampire Slayer for a few episodes? I don't know. I'm getting Ooh, pretty that excited, right? Seth Green's that right. Seth, he's also in Without a Paddle. Without a Paddle. Oh, that's the guy. There you go. Was there a chase scene? I think that's the we've actually named. Was there a chase scene in Without a Paddle? Was there a chase scene in Without a Paddle? I mean, they're getting they're chased, chased by the hillbillies. Yeah. <laughs> through the woods. <laughs> On quads. I can see that. I don't know. Are there any more movie car chases you guys can think of? I can't think of. Well, like, I'm sure there's plenty. Like, of like, like good ones, though. Offhand, I like because we're at just because I we're like at 32 Dodge, minutes, so and I don't know it's like one of the only car movie chases I could find that has actually a Dodge Viper in it. And the movie Wanted, where he's still freaking out about being an assassin, and Angelina <gasps> Jolie comes <laughs> on and like, does like a 360 and gets him right in, opens the car door and gets him right into the Dodge Viper. Yeah, wouldn't that like driving. break your like <laughs> CG? Wouldn't that like break yeah. your shit? They didn't do. I don't think it has a whole lot of practical effects in it, but it's just kind of a cool car chase. And it's kind of stupid. I was watching it just before we started because, like, the whole time she's getting chased by like a big bread truck, and it's like, what is this Viper slow as shit? <laughs> <laughs> this bread truck's did probably they, manual transmission. Did they take the V10 out of it, an hour. replace it with a four banger. Like, Zero what's going on here? Oh like, I get it. They're like in the middle of downtown New York. There's not like a whole lot of space to open it up, but bread truck, come on. <laughs> Can't get away. Can't get away from the guy in the bread truck. Has all those carbs, man. Oh my god! But nice shots of a viper. Oh, I miss the viper. Did they bring it back or no? I heard Uh, they were gonna bring it. back. It just went away in like 2017. And oh, I thought they. I thought they got rid of it in like 2015. They're bringing it back. There's a 2017 Viper ACR. Is there? It's supposedly the last, but there's already concept cars out there for what they're gonna bring back in 2020. So. I bring back the classics. I feel like you don't really need it anymore. I think like, after Dodge is having such success in like starting this new muscle race, yeah, um, that there's no way in hell they're going to quit making Vipers because they just dominated the. They set a bunch of records at famous race. Well, how much how much do Vipers the, cost? The Nuremberg Ring. Now the Viper AC, the Viper ACR that they just created has the best time on the German Nuremberg. Yeah, how much do they cost though? Like, if you wanted to buy a Viper, how much would you have to spend? 
Wow. But the 50, Viper... 50 the the thing is, they're they're very cheap for what you get. Well, because I was going to say, Corvette kind of took that spot. Because Corvettes, you can get mid-tier for about 50, 60K. Not that much money. And well, they're very powerful. Well, I thought the thing about the Viper was that it was, like, it was yeah. too good. Yeah. It was too expensive. So, like... You know, you always hear about story about the, how there's these. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why the Corvette kind of took their spot. There's these junkyards just full of supercars, and you know, yeah. everyone's always crashing their Viper because because everyone wants Ferraris and yeah. Lambos. Now. Right. That was the thing. Viper and Corvette are a lot cheaper of an option, though, when you're comparing the, what they do to a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Because they're super similar. Something. Because those are true yeah. supercars. Yeah. And these are more like American budget like, supercars. Like pro, but they do like pro the same. Sumer They got the be- better specs, the yeah. same specs. They have the 2017 Viper ACR at 142.7 and the 2019 Corvette ZR1 trim at 118.9. So the Corvette's a little cheaper. Damn. Your dad is talking about buying that. The Corvette. I don't like. I, I don't think. But I when you compare those to like a Lamborghini like with the same specs, you're paying two fifty for the Lambo. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so this is kind of a trial. We can keep going if you want. We're at thirty five minutes. Do we want to just jump into Jake Gyllenhaal and keep going, or do wasn't we prepared to, for Jake? Do we no, want to cut it here? No, we can cut it. I want to have notes I think for that's Jake. A bad idea for... <laughs> Jake deserves my full attention. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the Unsinkable Theory. We can def- definitively say car chases are unsinkable, and they probably always will be. For sure. Okay? And then in the future, we will, will we'll make... decide on sinkable or unsinkable when we're talking about specific movies. But since we were kind of just talking about a bunch of movies that applied to car chases, we're not really going to do this for this episode. But they so... can make or break a movie. Like and subscribe. Bad movie. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. <laughs>